everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to show you how to make this really cute macrame plant pot cover so it's perfect for covering up those ugly nursery pots and it just makes your plants look that extra bit fancy and it dresses up the shelves really nicely so you're going to need eight lots of 90 centimeter lengths of cord I'm using three millimeter three ply cord you'll need five lots of 350 centimeter lengths And you'll also need something circular, like wooden dowels. I've just taken two smaller ones together because I needed them to be a little bit wider. This is only temporary because we take it out at the end and you don't need it. You need some scissors. And a wire brush. This is the one that I sell on my Etsy shop and on my website and I really love it. It's made of bamboo and it's really comfortable to use and splits the fibres perfectly and quickly. So let's get started. So first off I am grabbing my 8 lots of 90 centimeter lengths of cord and my wooden dowel and we're going to attach them using a Lux head knot. So take one of the cords and split it in half just like this and then take the midway point over the wooden dowel and then take it underneath and then we're going to pass these two cords through the loop there. Then you can pull that to tighten it and pull it to the top. And we're going to repeat that with the seven other 90 centimeter cords so they're all attached in the exact same way onto the wooden dowel. And just like that they're all attached so that's perfect. And also I just wanted to point this out, there's a little knot here. Sometimes you'll get that in macrame cords where they've joined the two ends together, that's fine, you won't see it in this project. Now I'm taking one of my 350 centimeter lengths of cords and you'll see I've just got the end here pointing towards the left. So we're going to take the first two cords and we're going to take that cord underneath like this. We're going to gather the rest of the cord and bring it over to the left. So you create this D shape. And then the cord's going to go underneath the two cords and then through that loop there. So it's a bit confusing to say it but hopefully the video shows you it. And there's a lot of cord here so obviously it makes it look even more confusing but it's really easy once you get the hang of it. Now we're just going to repeat that with the exact same cord. So again, moving the cord over to the left to create the D shape and then passing it underneath and through the loop. So this is creating a vertical double clove hitch knot. That's the knot that will make up the whole of the planter and create that really nice detail. So that's one knot done. And now we're going to move on to the next two cords. And again, we're going to bring the two cords or over the working cord that we have. Just like that. And then we're going to bring that cord over to the left, create that D shape. And then pass the cord underneath and through the loop. And again, repeat twice on this cord. And then I'm just going to continue on doing this until I get to the end of the row. And then I'll show you what to do when we get there. So I've finished it and I've done eight double clove hitch knots. So now we can start going the other way. So in order to do that, we're going to just separate it out and I'm going to pick these two cords and I'm going to take the bundle of cord underneath. And we're going to leave a little scallop here. So you can do it quite small, you could do it quite big, a little loop at the end, which is going to give this really nice scallop detail to the planter. So then I'm going to bring the cord over to the right and create this backwards D shape now. And then I'm going to pass it underneath and through the loop. And now with this, I'm just taking my time because I want to create that nice scallop detail. So I'm pulling the cord out and then tightening it to make sure there's that little scallop there. And then again, creating the backwards D shape. And tightening it up to the first knot from that. Just making sure that I keep that scallop detail. So you can see we've got this nice little loop at the end now. Those cords are done now so we can move on to the next two cords. So again they need to be on top of your working cord. And then create the backwards D shape and pass the cords underneath and through the loop and repeat twice with each cord. 
So it's really as simple as that, it's just creating these D shapes and then passing the chord underneath and through the loop. So I'm just going to continue doing this until I get to the end of this row so I can show you how to flip it around the other way. So now that that second row is done, we can go ahead and turn it round again. But for this side, we don't need to leave a scallop because this is going to be the bottom of the planter. So I'm just passing our working chord underneath the two chords. Creating this D shape. And then again, passing it underneath and through the loop and repeating it twice. So it's as simple as that. You just keep repeating all these steps, making sure to, if you wanted anyway, to do the scalloping on the one edge to create that nice detail at the top. And so again, I'm just creating that little scallop at the top. So the cord does get quite knotted around, but actually I kind of find that easier to pass it through and then I unknot it when I need to. So again, I'm just trying to make sure that the scallops match size-wise. Just going to carry on until I've used up all of this long cord and then I'll show you how to add in the next. So what I like to do as well is to put something heavy on top of the dowels to stop it from sliding around. So I like to put my laptop on or something and just watch the Netflix while I make these. Something heavy to weigh it down would be great. Now that I've used up all of our first long cord, you can see I've got the end here and I'm just going to tuck that underneath because that will be inside of the planter so you won't see it. And we're going to add in our second chord. So for this, you need to see what direction you were going in and then obviously add it accordingly. So here we're going towards the left. So I'm bringing the chord over to the left, having the small tail stick out towards the right. And then again, we're creating this backwards D shape and just creating the knot as you would on a normal row. And then with that end, again, I'm just going to tuck it behind the work because we'll sort out all the ends once we've finished this as well. Make sure they look nice and neat. And again, just carry on as normal. So it's super easy to add in a new cord as well. So you don't need to worry about that. You just do the knot normally and then tuck the end behind. So I'm just going to continue doing all of this until I've used up all of my 350 centimeter lengths of cord. And it should get quite long. I think mine measured around 25 centimetres once I'd finished. So yeah, just stick on some Netflix, make yourself a cup of tea and crack on. So now that it's all finished and it looks lovely and neat. And you can see we've got this really nice scalloping detail here, which will be the top of our plant pot. So yeah, mine measured around 25 centimetres once I'd finished it all. And now you can see all of the extra cords that we've got at the back. So I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just going to snip them quite short. And this step's optional. You could add a dab of fabric glue just to glue down the loose ends. So I have some linked in the description box as well if you wanted to buy some. But it'll just help secure it. So now we can go ahead and take the work off of our dowel. So for this I'm just undoing the tape. like so and then I'm just going to slide it off of the dowel and you don't have to worry about it undoing or anything because it won't happen and now you can just go ahead and undo the loops from the lark's head knot where the dowel was attached just like this and then these ends are what we're going to use to attach the two sides together and create that plant pot shape so with this end sticking out here which is the end from the first ever knot I'm just going to take my jewellery pliers and just pull it underneath a knot just to tuck it out of the way and then again snip it and glue it. But that's optional as well, you could just leave that if you wanted or just cut it if you didn't have any jewellery pliers but I'll have some linked in the description. Now I'm taking my scissors and I'm just going to go ahead and snip at the top of each of the loops on the one side. Now it's time to knot the two sides together so we can create the circular shape. So if you hold it like this, you can kind of see what we're aiming for. So it's super easy to do. I just use a standard double knot. I don't use any fancy knot for this. So I'm going to take the first cord here on the right and the first cord on the left. And I'm just going to bring those two together and tie a standard double knot. So if you didn't know, it's right over the left. 
and then tuck it behind and underneath like that, pull it tight and then just repeat the exact same step. So right over the left and then through the loop. So it's really easy just to tie the two sides together, but sometimes you'll find it will be a bit bulky. So you could skip a chord and then tie the next two, skip a chord, tie the next two, if that's easier for you. And now that they're all tied together, we can go ahead and grab our scissors and I'm just gonna trim it to the length of these shorter chords just to get off all of the bulkiness. And then I'm grabbing my wire brush and I'm just gonna comb this out so it goes nice and fluffy. This is optional, of course, you could just leave it like this, but I really like the added fluffy texture. And then I'm just gonna give it the final trim now that everything's combed out nice and neat. And then you just pop it back out make it into a nice circle shape and there's your plant pot cover complete. So as you can see it doesn't have a bottom which is good because otherwise the cord would go a bit mouldy and gross from the moisture of your plants. So now you can just pop in a plant but I annoyingly didn't have one that quite fitted in, all of mine were a bit too small. But I really love the look of my Hoya Kerii in there so that's what I went with in the end. But here's a smaller one that I made about a year ago as well which houses my little snake plant. So you can see I made the scallops larger on the one that I've just made today and there's the smaller scallops so you can see which one you would prefer. So I'm just popping my little plant in and you could probably fit a little saucer underneath as well just to make sure that the cord doesn't get any dampness on it. So I've just popped something in the bottom just to prop up the plant a bit more and I think they look really cute together. I think a larger one would look really really cute as well. So let me know what you think as well. You could probably even try and do this with two different colours. Maybe each row you would have a different colour but I don't know if that would be a bit awkward to do but anyway I think it looks really really cute and adds a little bit of something fancy to your plants and of course they look great styled on a shelf as well. So I really hope you enjoy these little plant pot colours. I did find a tutorial for this from a YouTube channel and I'll have a link down below if I can remember it or find it. Hopefully I can. And if you do recreate this, please be sure to tag me on Instagram at LunarCraftsOnline because I'd really love to see it and share it. And if you could subscribe, like or comment, that would make my day. And thank you so, so much for all your support so far as well. I've really loved creating videos for you and tutorials and showing you how to do lots of things. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.